graders, welcome to Edupedia World Computer Applications 9th grade video lecture series. I'm Upeka Wendibona here for you today onwards. First of all, let's see what we are going to do under this lecture series. So there are eight sections under your curriculum. The first and the second sections, operating system and the internet. In there, we will do some theoretical work as well as the practical stuff. Third section, computing and ethics, is fully theoretical and we will cover it through slide presentations. The fourth and fifth sections, office application software and database packages, are fully practical work. We have used specific tools in there, so we will cover those topics through video tutorials. The last three sections, elementary concepts of objects and classes, and then values and types, and then conditionals and non-nested loops, are both theoretical and practical. And we use Java language as the programming platform to cover up those three sections. So this is our curriculum and this is what we are going to do today onwards. So now I'll brief you what are we going to cover up under each section. Actually there would be one or more sessions for each section so don't miss any of our lecture series. The first section is operating system and there it has two subsections. First one is introduction to operating system and the second one is graphical user interface of an operating system. On the first subsection, we will discuss what is an operating system, why we need an operating system and also what are the available operating systems nowadays. Through a tutorial session, we will show you some basic features and functionalities of an operating system. And then finally, we will demonstrate how to install and uninstall a software. On the second subsection, we will discuss about the elements of a GUI. For example, icons, windows, taskbars, etc. And then we will show you how to handle files and directories, as well as how to manage your desktop. In the second section, the internet, we will show you how to create an email, how to send and receive emails, and then how to do a search in the World Wide Web, and finally some technical stuff regarding modems. The third section, Computing and Ethics, it's a fully theoretical subject, but what you have learned in here should be practiced in your daily life. So here we will discuss about intellectual property rights, the legal boundary of that, and then right to privacy, and then data protection, what are the legal impacts and ethical impacts in there, and finally some other topics in spamming, software piracy, cybercrime, hacking, viruses, etc. The fourth section of his application software here we plan to use three applications in the Microsoft Office, uh, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel and Microsoft PowerPoint. So there we will show you some basic features each tool had provided. In the fifth section, Database Packages, we will show you how to create a database through Microsoft Access. Microsoft Access is a database application that comes with Microsoft Office package. And then we will try to write some query statements and then generate some reports using the queries we have written. And finally, we will try to create some application using the database we have created. From sixth section, we are starting object-oriented programming. So the sixth section is for learn elementary concepts about objects and classes. So there we will learn how to define a class using attributes and methods and then how to create an object using that class. And finally we will learn the four principles in object orientation, inheritance, encapsulation, abstraction and polymorphism. The seventh section is a continuation of the sixth section. 
So in here we will discuss about data values and types. So here it's about defining variables using data types and how to assign data values and also we will discuss about how to write expressions using operators. Also we will show you how the data type supports casting and finally we will show you what are the common errors we will come across through our program. The last section conditionals and non-listed loops here we learn about control structures in Java language. So here we will show you how to write a if else statement and a switch case block to perform a conditional check. And then we will show you three ways of writing a loop, for loop, do while loop and while loop. And finally we will show you a ternary operator conditional check. So this is what we are going to do in next few months. I'm sure we will have a wonderful time learning those stuff. So be prepared for our next first lecture with operating systems. Thank you for listening. See you in next episode. This video brought to you by edupediaworld.com. Watch more from our website.